It's really nice when you find some more toys to add to your arsenal. When Les came back from Game Day and his tour at Badgers, he brought back something yummy called Freak Flex Transparent Paints. After having a conversation about it over the phone, I decided to pick a whole set of them and give it a try. The first thing I did was I grabbed an orc knob because I wanted to see how I can use the green tint to make some orc skin happen, and I love the results. Hopefully you can see it clearly here on the video, but it came out pretty nice, I thought. Anyways, this is how I did it. We first primed the orc white. Here I'm using Vallejo Acrylic Urethane White Primer. Usually in most cases I advise people to use whatever color they want depending on the outcome and the results they want. Brighter color use white primer, darker color use black primer. This time however, white is the key color. For the sake of ease, we're going to refer to the Freak Flex Transparent Paint as Candy as from what I understand is the name that the automotive industry uses for this type of paint. The reason why we use white has to do with how the candy works. When you spray a layer of the paint on, it will color or tint the white areas on the surface. When it comes to the color black, it does nothing. Black remains black. And the shades of gray in between, the candy will match it in shade with the color that you are using. For example, if we spray on blue, the white areas will be blue. And from there, as the gray shades get darker, so does the blue until you hit black. At this point, the model is completely primered white. If we were to spray on the green tint now, the model would be a smooth green. There are no shadows, no shaded areas. So let's go ahead and make some. Here we are using black ink to make the shaded areas. We'll wash the model's head and arms. You can use your favorite brand of inks or even use oil paints or black wash. The end result is what's important. Now that we got the parts we needed inked up, we'll set it aside and let it dry. Once dry, we'll use a Q-tip to clean up the wash on the surface of the model. We don't want hardline breaks between the wash color and the primer color. There should be a smooth transition between the two colors. Depending on what you use to wash a model, you will need to use the right medium on the Q-tip to clean the wash on the surface. Since I'm using inks here, I'm using airbrush cleaner. I could also use alcohol. There, that should do it. Remember, you're not trying to clean it all up. You want to give it some character so not all the nukes and cranny needs to be cleaned up. Now we'll apply the candy. We're using the green tint and it's very important to remember that to do this in layers until you get the shade of color you want. It dries really fast so there's not much wait time in between layers. The more layers you put on, the darker the color will get. Here, I'm only spraying two layers.
and the final results. If I want to make it more green, I put on more layers. If I want to make it pale green, then I'll just spray one layer on it as you seen a minute ago in this video. I know I'll be asked this, and that is, can I use a brush to do this? The question isn't can you, but would you really want to? The problem with using a brush is that the candy is pretty thin. If you brush it on, it'll be quite uneven. It'll just pool in random places. As much as I've tried to use it with a brush, it just gave me uneven results. For now, I would say no. I only say that because you never know if someone would figure it out later on. Using Freak Flex to do Orchid is just one use. Check out what Les here did with a Mega Dread. I'll put out more videos as an experiment with this stuff and converse with Les about new ideas for its uses, but I love this stuff. The possibilities are endless. To get some Freak Flex transparent paints, check out http www.freakflexpaint.com. Remember to get the transparent paint as they have their own line of regular paints. So that's it guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, like if you like, sub if you haven't, and favorite if you love me. Talk to you guys later.